So far in this course, we've been looking at the TypeScript syntax. We've learned how to write code using TypeScript. In this unit, we're going to be focusing on running TypeScript. We did a very bare bones setup for TypeScript in the very first unit, and we haven't really explored some of the features of TypeScript, and we're going to be covering that in this unit. Uh, in order to make your life easier when you're working on a larger scale application, you have a bunch of files in your project, uh, you don't want to be running a command each and every time and checking the output and all that stuff. You want to use some of the features that comes out of TypeScript in order to make that process easier. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing now. Uh, we we have this, uh, I've, I've created this test file called test.ts. And uh, I'm going to create a class person like before. I have a last name and first name. Now save this. You know that in order to compile this, you would have to use TSE and then test.ts and this would compile to a .js file for the exact same name. But what you can do is when you're compiling a file like this, you can provide certain options to the TypeScript compiler in order to customize what it does when it does compile. So let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say I delete uh, the .js file that gets generated. And now what I'm going to do is when I ask TypeScript compiler to compile test.ts, I pass in an option called out, and this lets me specify what the output file is. Here, let's say I call it output script.js. And now what TypeScript is going to do is it's going to compile it to this name, right? You see here, now the name is not automatically inferred from the name of the file it's compiling. It is whatever you have provided over here, all right? The next thing you can do is you can have this compilation process be continuous, all right? So the uh, thing we were doing uh, so far in this course is, you know, you make a code change in your .ts file, you compile it, and then you make another change, you compile it again, and so on. But there is a better way to do this. What you can do is, uh, I'm gonna retain the out command, uh, out parameter, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have TypeScript compiler watch my changes by specifying the dash dash watch option. So what the TypeScript compiler does is it compiles your file, generates the output, but then it constantly monitors that file for changes. So if something were to change in your .ts file, the compilation is gonna happen all over again and it is going to generate the output all over again, right? So it's continuously watching this. So let me demonstrate that. So I'm gonna do the dash dash watch. Then you notice here, the TypeScript compiler Say so the compilation is complete and it's watching for file changes. Now I'm going to op open the output file in a separate uh, tab over here, so you can see those two. Now here you see I have a class person, and then there is the generated output over here. Uh, the member variables are essentially ignored in the generated output because I'm not doing anything with it. Now let's say I create something. Let foo equals new person. And uh, notice what happens when I save this file. I'm going to hit Control Save, and the TypeScript compiler detects the change and see it's automatically generated the output with the new thing compiled. All right, the changes have been compiled and the output has been generated again. And this happens every time you hit Save. Every time this file gets changed, you are going to get the output. So let's say foo dot first name equals I'm gonna call this test. I save again, and here's the output again. There are, of course, many more command line arguments, and to get to know what those are, you can type the tsc-help option, and uh, what this does is it prints out all the command line arguments that the TypeScript compiler allows. So here you see it's a very detailed help documentation about all these command line arguments and what those commands do. So I definitely encourage you to check this out and try out some of these if you think that'll help you in your workflow.